What's going on you guys? Stacy Wheels here with Ride to Food. I think I'm just going to start every video out in my tent from here on out. <laughs> so I'm in Big Bend National Park and as you guys probably saw in the last video, um, we rode some really bad roads to get here. Okay, I can talk. <laughs> and got here pretty late in the afternoon. Um, actually today is the same day, but I wanted to start a new video and talk about a couple of things that you need to see when you're in Big Bend National Park. So we are about to go on a hike down to a hot spring and check it out and then we'll see what else we get into over the next day and a half while I'm here. This jet foil is seriously the best investment I've made for motorcycle camping and trips. I don't know why I waited so long to get one, but I don't think I will ever do another motorcycle trip without bringing my own food. Now I'm talking with my mouth full. That's not okay. So I'm making biscuits and gravy and grits. I'm gonna put this biscuits and gravy recipe up on the site because it is so easy to make and it's so good. And from so far, it keeps pretty well. I made this last week and all of this stuff is definitely still totally fine to eat on the road. So I was gonna say safe to eat, but it all came out at once, so. I never wanna show y'all the end product on this because it doesn't look good. It is good, but it doesn't look good. Hopefully that'll thicken a little bit. Finished eating, let's go check some stuff out. I left the campground the park ranger came over and let me know that the government is now shutting down camping to anyone in the national park um, so I get to stay tonight but after tonight no one's allowed in the park so good news is I got to do my thing bad news is I might have to ride 900 miles home tomorrow <laughs> uh, because I might not be able to stay in a state park either I'm going to have to figure that out but hey, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's go check out what I actually came here to see and that's the St. Elena Canyon. That's it. Finally got that hike off my bucket list and finally got to see the San Elena Canyon. So stoked. Super easy hike. If you bring some shorts to change into, it would be way easier to if you're on a motorcycle. Um, but let's try and check out the Cheese House Basin before uh, the sun goes down. I know I'm starting to run out of daylight, so let's go.
the Chisos Basin Road. Uh, there's a ton of hairpin turns on this. Uh, depending on the time of year, the road can be really busy. But this view of the actual basin makes it totally worth coming and checking it out. Look at it. Really good time to see this is like right at dusk when the sky starts turning all fiery colors and stuff over there. Well, I'm going to run out of gas, so we are going to go to the gas station in Panther Junction. Let's hope I make it. But this road pretty much ends at the campground. There's really not much further to go. So time to get gas and then time to head back to camp. Maybe we'll get to see another rad sunset over uh, the Chisos. These are the mountains that were in the background of uh, the Rio Grande and last night. So let's go. thing I wanted to check out. It was only four miles past the campsite and it's pretty much the dead end of like the east side of the park. And turns out you can hike into this canyon too. <laughs> so we just went from canyon to canyon basically. But what's really wild is, well, there's a donkey over here. You guys probably can't see it in this video. Oh, there's another one. That one's huge. It's like a horse. Oh, there's a couple more. Please don't run after me. All right. So even though we didn't get to do the top three things I wanted to do, which was go to Boquillas for tacos. Um, I like that accent. <laughs> um, hike the Lost Mine Trail and go sit in the hot springs down on the Rio Grande. We did get to see a lot of really rad stuff in the 24 hours I was here. So guess we have to come back when it's not coronavirus time and when things open back up. But I'm gonna start hiking back to my bike because the sun is going down. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you guys found some things to do in Big Bend National Park. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and all that fun stuff and I will see y'all on the road. Later.